Welcome to lesson number one. In this lesson, we are going to work on the ZO1 interface. I am going to teach you only what you need to know in order to operate the system. I will not dive into the stuff that you, that you will probably never use or it will be too difficult to handle. So if you don't have a ZO1 account, you will go to amazingbusinessresults.com. You will click on the start a free ZO trial and then you will select the version that suits you the .com or Europe, the EU. Whenever you will follow the steps, you will install the system and then you will log in into zo.com, you will see this interface. On the left side, you will have the directory menu and that will be this guy on the left side. If you click on it, it will open a secondary menu with the options that we are going to work with. Now, lots of people sometimes are getting lost because they are trying to go with the cursor all the way to the left and then it will open the main menu and then they will not see the secondary menu. So just go to the right side and then you will see the secondary menu that we are going to work with. The first tab that we are going to work on will be the applications. Those will be all the applications that are assigned to your ZO1. The ZO1 will be a license with over 55 business applications and ZO are adding more and more applications all the time. You will see on the page all the applications that are currently assigned to your ZO1 and if you will click on the right side on add application, you can see that you can add more applications into your ZO1 and all those will be free. Everything that you will see here will be part of the ZO1 package and you don't need to pay an additional fee for those applications. Let's assume that I like to add notebook as an application. I can click on add. In this case, you can see that the system identified that I already used ZO notebook in the past. And the question is if you want to add it to your ZO1. So now everything will be under one license. Obviously, yes. So I will click here and I will click on next. In some cases, it will just say, do you want to add the application without assigning anything? And it will be also a yes. We click on next and then yes, add and that's it. Now the application is added. And if I will go to my applications, you will be able to see that ZO Notebook is now part of my ZO One license. It's also important to say that we have a YouTube video on our channel. It's called ZO1 2023. And this video will explain what all the ZO1 applications are doing. It's a long video and it has lots of information in it. So I recommend you to watch the video. We are going also maybe to put a link to this video on the description. Next, we are going to talk about the users. If you will click on the users, you can see all the users in the system. You will see yourself and you will be the super admin and you will see also other people from your company. Let's say that Jeff man, it's one of my employees. If I will click on him, I can see all the applications that are assigned to him. And if for example, he needs to have access to the notebook, I will click on the plus button. I will go to the notebook application. The system will ask me what will be his role. Is he an administrator that, it, that can control the settings of the application or is just a user that wants to use the notebook as a user? In this case, it will be just a user. I will click on user and click on done and assign. Now you see that Jeff Mann will have also the notebook as part of his applications. There are a few more things that you can do whenever you're clicking on a user. You can add more email addresses. For example, let's say that this is Jeff's main email address, but I can add more email addresses using the add email. And you can also reset the password for this user in case that he lost it. You can also reset the multi-factor authentication from this pen. On the left side, you can see also the admins. Those will be all the employees that can administer your ZO1 system. I do not recommend you to have too many people here. Only the most trusted people in your company can be your, the admins of your ZO1. 
On the left side, you will have the domains. Every domain that is basically approved on your ZO1 will let you add emails without verifications. What it means? Let's say that I have here the rapidbusinesstraining.com and that will be the domain that I added in the domain pen. If I will go to the users and I will want to add a user, you can see that I have here those options. So if I will want to have another user named Lior at Rapid Business, it's the one, rapidbusinesstraining.com, this email will be added and Zo will not request for approval from this user. If from the other side, I will have here Lior at blah.com, then an email will be sent to this email address and Zo will request the person to confirm it. And it's important because sometimes people will be added to the Zo one, they will not know that they're supposed to approve it. And if they don't approve it, they cannot access the system. So it's important to let people that are outside of your organization to know that they're supposed to confirm the invitation. Okay, let's proceed. On the left side, you will also have the security. In the security, I don't recommend you to play too much. The only thing that they, I think you can play is when you click on security, you will go to the policy. And I think the multi-factor authentication is the only thing that you need to force on your employees because it's relatively easy to break a password these days. So multi-factor authentication will be awesome. You can also download the ZOAuth to your phone. It's a beautiful application that allows you to authenticate whenever someone tries to log in to your account. So it's a very good application. If you click on the setup, you can see that you have your different options. You see you have here the one oath and you have the other options. I usually give my employees all the options and they can choose what's working for them. Most of them will use the SMS based OTP. I think it's not that secure, but for what we do, it's probably fine. And the last thing I want to show you will be in the marketplace. If you want, you can also assign a telephony system into the ZO1. Later on in the course, I will show you different options and how to do it. Okay, so that was the ZO1 interface. There are lots and lots of options here. Majority of the people will never use them. Thank you for watching the lesson. If you'd like to know more about us, we are amazing business results. We are a ZO premium partner and we offer a few services. One service will be custom ZO development. That means that you're coming with your own business problems and we'll find the right ZO solutions for your needs. We also develop extensions. Those extensions will be applications that we created that are plug and play to your ZO system. And each one of, of those extensions will solve a specific business problems for your needs. We are also a Ring Central reseller, which means we can sell you the Ring Central system, which is a phone and text message system. And because you're buying it from us, we'll give you the license to use our extension for free for one year.